<clears throat> hey, uh, so it's another morning of repair. You can see the steam rising off. The wetness is, uh, it evaporates. Or at least I can see that. I'm not sure with this low resolution camera. But yeah, uh, these, uh, keel bolts over here are a really bad idea uh, so I'm gonna be uh, taking them out and uh, just filling up, up with normal uh, cement alright oh almost saw some salmon <clears throat> right so I uh, sawed off the keel bolts and uh, as you can tell, it's a seamless hull now. Also, uh, there was a minor leak here. I used a screwdriver to uh, help take off like the cracked parts. Did that over here too. There was a minor cracked area. And I... Uh, filled in the keel bolt uh, areas with some epoxy cement um... yep as you can tell at least this side of the hull is doing well even though it is under water it's holding the water out which is exactly what we want uh, so now I'm going to go home, get some food, and, uh, then I'll go to Home Depot, get the chain to replace this road, and the locks. Um, maybe we'll figure out something better for the door, but, uh, who knows, maybe we'll be able to, like, lock the door with the help of the chains or something like that, figure it out. My only concern is that it might be heavy, because even 20 feet of chain has uh, quite a bit of heft to it. Um, but yeah, hopefully it'll be okay. Yeah, it seems like yesterday uh, during the rainstorm or something, some people decided to move my dinghy more inland. Uh, I guess that was nice for them. And uh, the door stayed locked, so they didn't uh, try to open it. That's, that's cool too. Uh, but yeah, I flipped it over. Like when I got here this this morning, uh, there was water in the hull. That's why I knew we had to do some repairs, and uh, it was the keel bolts. They took out all the water. Well, I almost feel like I'm playing Civilization. Here, see, we started with uh, this cheap plastic rope I found outside and then we progressed to this uh, nylon road and now we have this heavy-duty galvanized chain with locks <laughs> so uh, yeah it's, uh, it's a progression I uh, got the chain kind of reminds me of chess you know, treasure chests from the olden days. <laughs> but I'm locking up a boat instead of a chest. Uh, it's good and tight. Alright. And, uh, see, basically, I tied it, tied the chain using ordinary knots, but the links 
uh, the loose links I have tied connected together with the lock. Uh, that minimizes the amount of uh, force that is used. I was gonna get some of those plastic covered locks but when I got to the store they didn't really stand out and they were hard to get off and then I flipped the coin and it said to uh, pick these and they, they were tails and then it was tails and so I got these there's four of them for uh, $24 or something so yeah this lock is a bit extra but whatever the other was a three pack this is a four pack yeah see I got one down, down there too and one on the anchor line So, good and sturdy. Alright, I'll set the anchor and I'll be uh, ready to go. I can uh, still use this nylon road, uh, potentially as buoyant line. I'll just get a water bottle and uh, it'll be a buoyant line. <clears throat> Hello, hey. There was a photographer standing right here and he couldn't tell that that was a boat. He thought it was just a large rock. Admittedly, he was looking for salmon. So, but still, even though this isn't really a camo blanket, it's just dirty. <laughs> uh, it does seem to be working to that effect. Cover up that lock. I found this interesting fossil. It uh, looks like some kind of worm or primitive coral or something like that. Very interesting. All right. Yeah.